Hi everyone, today we're doing a review on Minor Lou. So first off, we're going to talk about the glitches. I hope you don't have the same glitch as I did, but I had the glitch where even though I beat the second level, I got past wave 30, I could not go to the third level. So I tried it one time, like when I did the first level, it, when I first got to wave 30, I didn't even have to beat the boss of wave 30 because there's a boss every 10 levels. It automatically unlocked level 2. When I did it for level 2, I got all the way to wave 50 something because I, like when you exit the game early, it doesn't let you keep your score. So you have to actually die. So I was like, whatever. I go to wave 50, I let them kill me because honestly they can't kill you if you do a spiral maze, which you'll see in this video. I got like super speeded up. So it's not super long because I actually do enjoy tower defense games, but it's kind of hard to talk about them while you're playing because it's kind of a little bit mundane. There's not much going on in it, so there's not much to talk about. Not much commentary that you can find on it. But back to the glitches. So when I got to wave 50 on level 2, it still didn't unlock level 3. So I was like, alright, whatever, I'll try it again. Put it on hard mode. Did it again. Still didn't get um, to wave level 3. I tried to restart, I uh, restarted the game, I got my achievements after I closed the game, at least. So I have the achievement for completing level 2, but I still can't open level 3. So that's the glitch I ran into. Hopefully you won't run into the same thing. But this game is a complete, like, clone of, um, Gym TD. I wouldn't say a ripoff because they did improve a little bit of things, like you have Minor Lou to make it a little bit easier at the start. Because Gym TD is actually, was actually one of the harder TDs in Warcraft 3. Because you get random gems, like you summon five random gems and you get to keep one per level. So, they gave you minor loot to make it a little bit easier at the start because you're playing by yourself probably. And you can use the gems, you can combine them. But the main thing is, if you make a spiral maze, which you'll see how I'm doing it, like, they're, even hard mode's not challenging in this game. <laughs> like, all you have to do is build a spiral and then pretty much mash your towers, your gem towers in the middle because you can build the gems over the rocks like so you pick, f you drop five gems right and then you select one and the rest of them turn into rocks but you can build your gems on top of those rocks like you can build over your maze so you can make sure that the rocks turn into gems eventually but first you want to use the rocks to make your like basically out of a maze if you have any idea of how the maze in a tower defense game, this game is too easy for you and I don't care what anybody says, they could be like, Oh, you didn't get to the later levels, there's flying levels. One, the counter flying levels, all you do is smash your towers in the center of your maze. Where they have to go through the route, because they're going to fly over your maze. So you want to mass all your towers in that one spot. Two, I did it on hard mode without taking any damage. And like, I included the star babies in my maze, so like one of them kept getting cheap shotted and I still beat it. Like, this game... It's not challenging. <laughs> like, if you have any idea how to maze in a tower defense game, you'll be fine. And if you don't, you can watch this video, like, in the background. You'll see how I do it. And that's good enough to beat this game. Some of the towers are pretty neat. Like, you can combine into towers. Like, you have to get certain gems to combine. What I'll tell you is, as a tip, don't plan on combining. Like, get the gems that you want. Like, some gems are obviously better than others. The green gems are awesome. The red gems are awesome. The orange gems are awesome. The blue gems are great. Purple gems suck, pink gems suck, white gem is only good for really combining. So you want to just mass, what I do is I mass the red and green and orange gems, right? And then as combinations come up, that's when I combine them. You don't want to just like make sure you're only looking for like certain combinations though, because if you do that, you might not get them because it's RNG. Like you get five gems each time and you don't know what you're going to get. Also, you can downgrade gems, which is kind of useful because once you get later on, it's harder to get the early level gems to combine. Because combined towers are better than more upgraded towers, if that makes sense. Like, you can get, like, a star ruby that's not combined at all, which is, like, way higher tier. But it does less damage than my poison array 1, which I combined from two green crystals and a red crystal. So that's something to keep in mind. Make sure you're looking for, um, look for combinations, but don't bank on combinations. You can get that poison array really easily, and it's one of the best towers in the game. So I'd say aim for that at the start, but just keep your green, red, and orange crystals and you'll be fine. You could throw in a blue one too if you want for the slow. Honestly, you could throw in any gems because this game's so easy it doesn't really matter. I'm sorry. It's, it's a really easy game. I did like it though because I used to love gem tower defense and I love games where you can build your maze. But that glitch sucked because I, would, I was hoping I could get all the achievements in the game, but 
Until they fix that, I'm pretty much done with it. I like played the game for like two hours, played the second stage on normal, played it on hard, got to wave 50 something on my normal stage as you can see in this video if you watch through it. And it's an alright game. It's it's a good little time passer. I hope they fix their glitches because it has promise. But until they fix that, it's not really I wouldn't recommend it. And another thing is, so I got the score to stay right for the 50 wave thing, because I did I let them kill me. And then when I closed the game and reopened it to see if the game would let me play level 3, my score is gone. So what the f what's the point? What's the point of getting a score if it doesn't save it? Honestly, that might be something on me though. Wait a second, let me chase something right now. I might have to like eat my words because I might have done something where that happened. One second, I'm gonna try something real quick. Just see what happens. Because honestly, I'm doing this commentary separate from the video because I had to fast forward the video because I didn't want it to be that long. Let me see what happens here. Maybe I can go to wave 3 if I do this. Nah. <laughs> Let's see if I can give a... Uh. Alright, against my own freaking uh, intuition, I just played it again through stage 2. Did the whole thing again, let it beat me because I thought that maybe it was because there was a game I was trying to replay, so I had disabled my Steam Cloud synchronization, so I was like, okay, maybe if I turn that back on, restart it, it'll let me do level 2 if I beat it again. So I do it, no, it is broken, that is broken. I hope you don't have the same problem I do, this might be something that's only happening to me, which is kind of a problem with some free-to-play games, but overall, if you were looking for a Gem TD clone, and you only want to play the first two levels that I know that you can play. It does that, I guess. It's kind of boring and it's super easy because they don't... With the addition of Minor Loot and being able to control him, it makes the easy waves of Gym TD so easy that you don't need to know how to play it like you used to, if that makes sense. Like, when you had to play that stuff in Blizzard, in the Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne client, you had to know what you were doing. If you didn't know what you were going, doing, you were going to be done so fast in Gym TD. But this doesn't really have that. It's a neat little clone though, and it's cool to see the different towers, even though some of them just outright suck, and some of them are just way better than others. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know if my video, how long it is, because I'm kind of doing this like audio aside from it, so there might be just like no noise. I'll add in some music, but I'll have both my playthroughs of level two Another thing I'd like to see if they do go back and like fix this where I can actually play through it is um, tooltips. Ah, this game needs tooltips. Like, give me a description of the tower. Tell me what it does. Tell me if it has splash. Tell me what damage it does. Tell me what attack speed it goes at. Like, you should be able to do that. Since this is the Gem Tower TD clone, even Gem Tower could do that. So I'm sure you can as well. And that's pretty important in a tower de defense because it really tells me what gems I want to make for my maze and which ones are good. So that's something to keep in mind if you're... Uh, that would be nice to see in this game. I don't know if they're ever going to fix it or do anything with it, but yeah, that would be nice to see. Tooltips are, like, so important in, in any kind of tower defense game. But yeah, thanks for watching as always. If you could, please like and subscribe. Bye!